Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. As many of you may know, AMD's Ryzen CPUs are designed using a multi-chip module, or MCM for short. Using these smaller modules or chiplets in Zen 2's architecture lets AMD garner much higher yields. See, the bigger a die is, the higher the chance something can go wrong during the manufacturing process. And if there's a module or chiplet with a flaw, the whole CPU doesn't need to be thrown out. Just that chiplet. The only real problem with this design is how you connect them. In Zen's case, the architecture Ryzen is made from, it uses an interconnect called the Infinity Fabric. Anytime one chiplet needs to communicate with another, it uses this Infinity Fabric, so its speed is definitely important, and that speed is directly based on your system's memory frequency. For example, if your RAM is set to 3200, its frequency is half that at 1600 MHz, which means its Infinity Fabric is also set to 1600 MHz. Now, because of this, memory frequency is really important for when your chiplets need to interact. And luckily, in 3rd Gen Ryzen, AMD has really upped their memory support, providing some pretty high frequency possibilities. Of course, this is GamerMeld, and many of you are likely wondering how this could impact your games. And that's what I'm here for. I ran a series of benchmarks or a few games at pretty wildly different frequencies. I'll have my full test bench specs listed in the description, but I used the 3700X for all of these and they were done at 1080p so I could eliminate any potential GPU bottlenecks. But first, check out the first to seven nanometer mug for AMD's third gen Ryzen launch. You can pick yours up at store.gamermeld.com or visit the link in the description below. Anyway, let's go over them. As you can see, most every game received at least some performance boost as we made our way up in RAM speed, with some seeing a significant difference, especially if we compare 2133 to 3600. For example, in World War Z Ultra Preset at 1080p, the average FPS went up by over 23% when going from 2133 to 3600. And in Ashes of the Singularity, the average CPU score went up by an unbelievable 54.6%. That's not margin of error type of difference. That's an I bought a new GPU kind of increase. One of the few exceptions to this rule is Civilization VI's AI benchmark, but I'm fairly certain that only looks at a single core since that's mostly where AI operates, so it's likely just dependent on how high the 3700X could get out of the overclock. Finally, let's talk about the elephant in the room. You can see the performance steadily increases until we get to memory speeds at 3800, and there's actually a perfectly good explanation for this. In the second generation Navi, the architecture that makes up third gen Ryzen, the Infinity Fabric's frequency can only get to 1800 MHz, so you might be wondering how Ryzen can support any RAM above 3600, which is a frequency of 1800 MHz. Well, that's one thing AMD did for this architecture. When your RAM exceeds 1800 MHz or effective 3600, the Infinity Fabric drops down from a 1-1 ratio with your RAM to a 2-1 ratio. Now, I was originally concerned about the Infinity Fabric essentially being cut in half when you go from 3600 to just 3800 RAM, which would likely hurt performance far more than the 200 MHz difference in RAM frequency. Well, from what I understand from the reviewer's guide AMD provided me, the Infinity Fabric actually stays at that 1800 when in that 2 to 1 mode. Now, I will say that AMD claims the best performance can be had at 3733, but I believe that's if you try to overclock the Infinity Fabric. Plus, they even admit that the best price to performance configuration is 3600. Basically, if none of that made any sense to you, the reason everything kind of stays the same is because the Infinity Fabric speed doesn't get any faster, no matter how fast your RAM is beyond 3600. Now, if you had far faster RAM, you could potentially get somewhat better frames, but it wouldn't be a huge difference because the only reason things got so fast was due to the faster Infinity Fabric speed. So, with all of that said, how much can RAM help your FPS? Well, depending on the game, which is usually the case, it can help by quite a bit. Though remember that you only see a huge difference when your GPU isn't already your bottleneck, like had I done these tests at 4K, etc. Just remember that your GPU is always going to be your most important buy, but for those wanting to get the best out of your system, faster RAM can help. So while that does it for today, let me know what your best Ryzen benchmarks are down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.